Good morning, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. The Lord wants to talk about fellowship. Did you know that God created every single one of us to have fellowship with him? That fellowship word means oneness, communion, or koinonia in the original Greek. That is a uh, being in sync. Where God goes, you go. Where God stays, you stay. What God wants you to do, you go do. The life that he wants you to have, he created for you. For you are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus beforehand, that God prepared beforehand that you should walk in them. And so 1 John chapter 1, verse 6 says, If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. See, God's decisions in our lives are all maintained in light of fellowship with him. If the fellowship is disconnected, he's going to make decisions in our lives and cause things to happen to maintain that fellowship with him. See, when you became a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you are not left to yourself to live a life on your own, to do your own thing. God didn't just give you a basket of goodies and said, go live and do with it with whatever you want. He gave you everything for himself, that you would use those things, the things that you look around your house and life right now are for the glory of Jesus Christ, and so that the world might be saved. The things that you go and do, the people that you talk to, that's why the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So when someone's talking, it's a direct uh, reflection of their heart, and God wants every one of our hearts to reflect a fellowship that we have with him. He says, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son cleanses us from all sins. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You see, to maintain that fellowship with God, we need to confess our sins. There's many listening to this video that have not done that for a long time. They believe that they have done nothing wrong. They believe that the things that they have is a demonstration of the perfect life that they think they live. But in reality, many have the things that they have as a distraction to draw them away from a real relationship with Jesus Christ. But if you begin to confess those sins, acknowledge some of those things that you're doing in your life as sin, and you acknowledge that to God, that's what it means to confess. Then the Bible says, he is faithful, God is faithful, and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make God a liar and his word is not in us. So if you want to give yourself the best gift this holiday season, confess those sins today, right now, and watch your life be transformed and your fellowship with God renewed once again. God bless you. Have a great day.